Great job with the majors. Now let's build a minor melody. What's great about the minor melody is that you might think you have to learn a whole new shape. But if you know your relative majors and minors, you don't have to. Vocal lines, even in minor, in minor keys, in minor tunes, generally follow the same interval jumps. It's that same one, two, three, except it starts on the minor third. So check this out. I'm gonna play a jam track. I'm gonna play G minor. And what I'm gonna do is instead of starting on G, which you would think, I'm gonna start on B flat, that minor third. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, just like I did in major, but now what this is, is your flat three, of course, four and five in G minor. And you're gonna hear that this melody completely works. The same phrasing works. And it's easy to connect those two chord tones, the fifth and the flat three, and you don't have to learn a different shape than major. And you'll find a great many tunes do this. Again, because vocalists generally struggle with singing half steps, which is why you don't do root two flat three as often as you do flat three, four, five. I'll show you. Here we go. Here's your G minor jam track. There's your chord tone, flat three. Four. Again, that's in between flat three and five, your other chord tone. So that is your two whole step jump, right? That's your one, two, three, if you want to think of it. Apply the same phrasing, try to make melodies with this. Take another root. Again, starting from B flat. See what I did there? Same thing as the major melodies where you're doing one, two, three. I first started in one section, got comfortable with the sounds of two chord tones on each side and then the passing one in the middle. And then I started that from each different root on the neck. Now, or I shouldn't say root, I should say flat three from the first starting note. Now, we're gonna do what we did in majors as well. We're gonna add the missing notes to create the pentatonic scale. So that's gonna be the root and the flat seven. And that's gonna give you your minor pentatonic scale. So in G, obviously, that starts on G. Flat three, here's your one, two, three. So going from flat three, four to five, and then your flat seven, up a minor third, root. But again, just like with the major pentatonics, it's the same shape. You got this slide, and then where are your next two notes? Over a string set. They will always be there, right? So same thing, I'm gonna play the same track. I'm gonna try to make melodies with the five notes that I have focusing on that one, two, three jump in the middle, because that's where most of your melodies are going to lie, and then I'm gonna connect across the neck, starting on those same places. I'm just thinking, this is where I start, I'm gonna make those jumps and try to connect, knowing that your other two notes are always the next string set over. Here we go.
All right, so that's how it's done. That's how you build melodies from a one chord vamp. Just like we did in majors, get them under your fingers, get the sound in your ears, get used to your phrasing, limiting yourself to just those notes. Start with the three, and then add the other two to do the full pentatonic. And when you're ready, meet me in the next scene where we're gonna loop the jam track and you can spend as much time as you want going up and down and up and down, getting comfortable with these. Good luck.